if you do that alone, everything I literally just said, if you do that alone every day for like a year, you wouldn't believe um, how much better you got. Like, and it's just so simple. No JJ answers today. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about how to practice and like what type of mindset you need to be in because I feel like I get a lot of messages and um, not a lot, but I get enough messages to know that there's like a theme among young people that they're pretty impatient with their practicing. Like a lot of people think, like especially like when I'm teaching something, if I have a group of kids, like if I show them something and it doesn't work in the first two tries, like this doesn't work. Like, that's not how it works, for real. And I wanna talk a little bit about that. So the first thing you need to understand about practicing is just patience. Like, you have to be patient. It's gonna take time, like no matter, there's no way around it. It's gonna take time and time and time. So like, and you gotta work at it for real. You can't just be like lazily throwing it up there and think you're gonna make progress. So like, you have to understand how much patience you need, like thousands and hundreds of thousands of reps is how you get to the perfection of it to where it's just natural. It's not like you're not gonna learn something in a, like you can learn something in a week, but you're not gonna master it in a week. There's nothing, no way. Like for example, like for me, I've done so many footwork drills that I basically don't even have to practice my footwork anymore. Like, um. I've done it so many times where it's second nature, you know what I mean? So like, but I still practice my footwork naturally. Like every, the way I practice is like, I do, I always do like the right pivots when I'm like catching the ball or no matter what, I always do the right footwork just out of habit. And so you have to make certain things a habit, you know what I mean? And so when you're practicing, you have to understand for number, for the second thing besides patience, number two is, like don't try to don't try to practice everything in one session like what i see a lot of when i go to the gym um or when i'm just evaluating is like people will they'll shoot a three pointer then they'll get the ball back and then they'll do a layup and they'll get the ball back and they'll do like a crossover step back and then they'll get the ball back and they'll do like seven dribble moves into like a floater and then they're back at the three point line doing a crossover jumper and like it's just random sporadic stuff like it, there's no structure to it there's no routine there's no nothing like they're just out there doing something and so like it might seem like and I see a lot of the trainers doing the same thing and they're they're kind of teaching you to practice to practice the wrong way and so um what you have to do is you have to structure your practice routine so like what I like to do is like I start off with ball handling. So like I'll do ball and handling like up and down the court, um, just front through the legs in and outs, all that stuff. Um, and like a lot, like intense, right? Both hands. And so after I'm done with that, then I'll do, I'll go into layups. So like I'll do the Kyrie drill, which is formerly known as Mike and drill, but I call it Kyrie drill now. Um, so you guys can like understand what I'm talking about, layups. Um, do like do like your regular layups, make ten. Um, left hand, same thing. No backboard. Um, high off the glass, floaters, um, reverses, um, all that stuff. You know what I mean? And and I do it to where it can't touch the rim on any of those. And so um, I'll try to do like maybe five or ten. And it depends how good you are. Like sometimes you might have to start off with like three each. They got to be perfect because it might take you a long time to make it without it hitting the rim. But once you can do it consistently, then you can do five, and then you can get to ten, and it it goes quick. So, um, so that's how I kind of warm up, and then immediately after that, I get into form shooting. Um, around the around the rim, I do like, I do fifty swishes. So I'll do right in front. I'll do ten swishes. Then I'll go to the side, ten swishes, um, at a, like a diagonal angle, ten swishes. Same on the other side, and then the middle, but a little farther back than where I started, 10 swishes. Um, and then I'll do like around the world, and then I'll go into like free throws, just set shooting. I'll do set shooting the whole thing until I get to set shooting with the threes, um, or whatever your range is. Like, do not force your range. That's that's very important. Like, if you can't shoot threes, just don't shoot threes. You'll get there, but go to a point to where it's kind of hard to shoot from there, but it's not messing up your form, and you're not forcing it. 
So it still feels natural, but it's hard to make it. So that's like where you're, that's like the point of where you get better at. And so um, whatever that point is for you. So like I like to go back to threes and I'll go back to college threes, um, all set shooting. And then after that, I get into my one dribble pull up, um, one dribble pull up the other, both ways. Uh, a little bit off the backboard too. Sometimes I do all, like some days, some days I go in there, everything off backboard. Um, and then I'll do my one dribble pull-ups or from the three, I like to do pump fake and then I go to the side step or whatever. Um, I do both of those. So I shoot a mid range and a three. And then I go to dribble pull-ups. So like I'll do in and out, shoot it from every spot, both hands. And then I'll do through the leg, shoot it, behind the back, shoot it. Um, one step back, shoot it right. One step back left, shoot it right. And like, if you do that alone, everything I literally just said, if you do that alone every day for like a year, you wouldn't believe um, how much better you got. Like, and it's just so simple. Like people, people think you have to do like what. What's confusing is the Instagram. Like, and I'm not, and I'm not shitting on any Instagram trainer. I promise you, I'm not. But I'm just telling you, like, how people are getting confused. It's because they look on Instagram and they see a one minute clip of a workout. And they see kids doing like seven crossovers, in and out, spin move through the lane. And they think, okay, this is how I got to work out. But what you don't know is that stuff really don't translate that well. Like, there's no there's no mastery to it. You know what I mean? Like, like how many times are you really going to do that in a game? Once? Oh, once every nine games? But I guarantee you... You're going to be standing there and somebody's going to throw you the ball and you're going to shoot it. You're going to do that every game. So if you can't just catch and shoot the ball, then like you don't need to go any further than that. Like catching and shooting is the base of scoring. And so once you master that, then your counter to catching and shooting. If you watched, uh, I don't know how many videos ago I talked about how to how to add a scoring package. Um, this is the base. I'm telling you the base. Catching and shooting. Once you master catching and shooting. Then you catch it, pump fake, one dribble, pull up. That's the counter to that, both ways. So, like, if you literally master those two things, I promise you, I promise you, you will score with ease. Like, it's not even funny. Like, the layup, like what I just said, handling, layup, warm up, every layup that you can think of, five each hand makes perfect. Um, catching and shooting, starting close and inching your way out to your range and then pump fake one dribble pull ups both ways like if you can do that alone if you can master that alone i promise you you'll be a great scorer and then after you after that point is when you start to add in other things like and if you play basketball enough you're going to have moves so like this isn't it's not like i'm saying don't practice any moves i'm teaching you how to just play the game like because nine times out of ten, you're not going to be the man on your team. You're going to have to learn how to play off the ball. And 90% of off the ball is catching and shooting or just making a quick decision. So if you can't, so if you can master those things, then you can start to, like, because if a coach sees you consistently making catch and shoots, consistently making your layups, consistently doing pump fake, one dribble pull-ups, you can knock those down. Then he's going to go to you. Then that's when you can start expanding your package. So, like, you can't even get to the point of being the man if you can't be a role player first. Like, I started off as a role player. I was a shooter as a kid. Like, I could catch and shoot as a kid. That's That was my thing. And then I could, after I started doing that well, um, my screen cut off. I use it as lighting a little bit. Once I started doing that well, then I started getting the ball. And coaches, like, score more. People are like, shoot the ball more. And so then that's when I started adding on my package. So um, don't add on to your package until after that. Okay, like, and then once you start to add on, add a go-to move, whatever move you like. It doesn't matter. It depends on your position, obviously. Like, if I was in the post, I'd recommend a jump hook, like just an over-the-shoulder, bam, and then a counter spin. Um, I'd recommend that or up and under. But if you're on the wing, like, maybe like a hesitation pull-up or like just a simple crossover or like throw some jab steps in, like master your triple threat. I didn't even mention that. Like, literally all you need is triple threat, catch and shoot, um, drive each way, finish, drive each way, uh, pull up jumper. Like that alone, you'll be fine. I, you, I, you can be a professional off of that only, trust me. So um, that's all I really wanted to say. Like, I hope that helps. Um, master one thing at a time. 
be patient, like, and yes, you're going to have to do the same shot a hundred times in a row. Like, if you can't handle it being tedious, then it's not for you. Like, you're not going to be that great. So, fundamentals is where it's at, I'm telling you. I still haven't, I'm about to post that video of Lionel Hollins, too, after I upload this. So, if you watch this, be on the lookout for the next video. Like, he, he's an NBA coach. He talks about it. So, I got to chop it up. So, because some of the stuff he talks about... Um, it's, it's kind of irrelevant. And so I kind of want to cut that out. So I'm gonna chop it up for you and I'm gonna post that. But that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I was gonna do a call-in show. I completely forgot. I did, I kind of, I didn't really forget, but I forgot. As in, I had other stuff to do. <laughs> it was kind of late. I forgot to test how I'm gonna do it. So let me figure out how I'm gonna structure the calls, like how I'm gonna get the calls in and film. Um, and if you want to be on the call, if you want to be one of the first callers on the call-in show, just text me 402-313-1324. Um, I'll get you in there. And then, uh, yeah, work on your game, man. Be patient. It's going to work. All right. Good luck.